What's going on, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect. I'm back today with a brand new Madden 16 franchise mode video for you guys. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm dropping these guys three times a week now. That's every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In case you're missing some, you need to start tuning in more often. But I'm back with a new episode of the reunion featuring head coach Ed Reed, hard hitting safety Johnny Hithard, and QB Josh Williams. The Oakland Raiders, this season's been a little weird, man. That even though the Raiders have two losses as they come into this game, every game they have looked like the team that should have won. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but the Raiders come into this game at 3-2, and two, and they boast the number one defense in the NFL against the run. The Patriots, however, boast the number two defense in the league against everything. So I fully expect today's game to be just full of defensive plays all over the field. Brace yourself for it. The Raiders' first drive does eventually stall out, but it's all good. They're in great field goal range, so they're going to do the smart thing. They tack three points on the board. Now we get our first look at this New England offense. Of course, no Tom Brady. We saw this last season when we faced him. Jimmy Garoppolo kind of stepped in and turned into the man. Matter of fact, in this commentary, like the, the in-game commentary, they said Jimmy Garoppolo is the guy responsible for shattering all of Tony Romo's college stats and records. Who, who knew? Because I sure as hell didn't. But look at this right here. Beautiful blitz by the Raiders. Curtis Lofton and Malcolm Smith was on Garoppolo's ass like back pockets. Lofton gets credit for the sack. Third and forever. That's a strike right there to Rob Gronkowski. But Nate Allen, recently installed into the starting lineup, has been balling ever since he got in the starting lineup. He's been balling. And what do you know? New England has to give it away. You got to love it. They go for three. They miss the field goal. And the Raiders are out here looking to capitalize on that mistake. Third and short, I do not know how Mayo made that play. But let me tell you guys this. When you're playing this game, you can tell the players that are really good because they just make plays. Mayo was every damn where. You dig? But it's all good. On the Raiders, defensive side of the ball, man, this guy, Johnny Hithart, was every damn where, too. And he has been pretty much all season. Second and seven right here. Look at this. A lot of times they was trying to put Johnny on Grunk. I'm going to go ahead and tell you Grunk is a beast. I think y'all know that. If you don't, you can ask Johnny. And right here they hook up with Edelman. Later in that drive, second and ten. Nice time in the pocket. Johnny gets there and jars the pass loose from Julian Edelman. No sir, Julian. You ain't finna come across my middle and catch passes while I'm out there. They do get three on the drive. So the game is knotted up at three apiece. The Raiders are back on the field looking to put more points on the board. Look at this play right here. Play action to Latavius Murray, who was held pretty much in control, man. Like, the Patriots' defense was eating the run game alive. That pass play right there was mediocre at best, but it was negated by offensive holding penalty. We're seeing at least one of these a week, and it's Rick Wagner, the free agent that we brought in in the offseason. But look at this on second and 19, a regular hitch route to Muhammad Sanu goes all the way to the house. You know what makes it even sweeter? You want to know who that cornerback was over there? Jonathan Joseph. So, of course, we had to let the Patriots know. Y'all can have Jonathan Joseph. That's why, we, that's why we got rid of him. We knew he was trash. Good luck with him over there. Good luck with him. And I'm liable to pick on Jonathan all damn game because, I don't know, I just, I'm mad that they scooped him up like he was the answer. Grunk, however, is the answer, man. He was tough to cover for everybody. Linebackers, safeties, whoever you put on him, he was pretty much eating. That's only his third reception of the game. He gets his team a first down, though. Garoppolo on first and 10, bouncing out the pocket. We just went through this last week with Mariota. I'm not going through this again, y'all. I am not. He will be spied for the rest of the game. Don't even worry about that. First and 10, Garoppolo dropping back. That's a beautiful pass to Grunk. You see how much distance was between Grunk and Lofton? We can't cover that guy. We don't have to. Just keep him under the umbrella. That's our memo out here. On first and goal, look at this right here. No, sir, Garoppolo. No, sir. Khalil Mack was the spy right there and wrapped him up like a chicken fajita before he got anything. Sit down. Third and goal right here. They go screen. Beautiful. Dre Kirk gets over there, pushes the running back out of bounds before he can get to the first. Guess what they're going to do? Take another three points. The score is 9-6. to six. I talked over my score. Well, I didn't talk over my score, but I talked over the fact that I missed the extra point. I'm so used to just kicking the extra point. I'm not thinking that. It's always super windy in New England, and no. Trying to get more points before the half. We throw it deep. 
We just took a shot in the good old ricochet interception. I hate that interception because that one is really not the quarterback's fault. Second and 10, that's a beautiful pass to Julian Edelman, who puts his team in position for the field goal. So what do they do? Come out, line up, kick a field goal. That's what you expect them to do. Field goal goes right through the uprights. The game is tied up at 9-9. to Why am I still showing y'all something? Get your popcorn ready, ladies and gentlemen. They kicked the ball off with only two seconds on the clock before the half. Two hour rookie, six foot two, 97 speed cornerback out of FIU, who now looks like a special team beast. He bounces this thing outside, running down the sideline. No man in the whole arena can catch him. 98 yard kick return for DeAndre Parker. I'm feeling like a proud pop, yo. I drafted that dude. And they came out and said, oh, that was a reach. You shouldn't have took him. I know talent. Speaking of knowing talent, that's my first overall draft pick right there. Victor Small, the cornerback out of FSU, getting back there, hitting Garoppolo, forcing the fumble, and putting the Raiders offense back on the field for an opportunity to get more points. I'm feeling like a beast right now. I sit back here and I look at my two rookies out there making plays, and I go, you know what? I got an eye for talent, y'all. I got it. I got it. That's some more of my hand-picked talent right there. Eshaq Sharp on the screen. He gets the Raiders close enough for another three. I mean, it's a damn field goal battle out here. And I ain't even got a problem with it, y'all. I'll take it. I'll take it. Great run right there, man. First and ten for the Patriots. Now, look at this. They're going to go play action. You see Johnny kind of floating around the center of the field, realizing he better get deep. They throw it deep, and at the end of the play, what was that? What was that? TJ Carey had position instead of making a play on the ball. And I know what you guys, I'm seeing some of the comments like, Spade, why don't you do this? I'm not clicking on these dudes every single play because I want to make this thing play as realistic as possible. That means I'm going to lose some games, y'all, because teams lose games in real life. Let me try to make this thing as realistic as possible, okay? But TJ Carey right here, what are you doing? That would have been the perfect way to make up for that big, dumb error you just made on the other play. TJ Carey couldn't get the pick. They come right back to Julian Edelman. Great reception. Puts him close to the, close to the goal. But guess what? They still under that damn umbrella, y'all. You under that umbrella. My defense is official this year. Bend, but don't break. Jenny Hithard went for the strip. Man, that would have been dope if we could have got another fumble right there. On third and goal, my backers are back there whapping down the pass. I like it. I would have liked the interception better, but they have to settle for another three. Put the Raiders' offense back on the field. Can we hold these Patriots with no touchdowns for the entire game? Y'all have to give my defense some credit if we pull that off, man. First and ten. Josh throws deep. That's Tavon Austin smoking the defense for another consecutive week. This guy is on fire a touchdown in every game so far this season he's unguardable he's uncoverable is that a word well if it ain't make it one make it a word 25 12 is the count it's late in the game man and how in the hell did julian edelman catch that pass you know it was right here that i realized to myself they are only throwing passes to Grunt and Edelman. Nobody else is even being targeted with a pass. Look at Johnny hit hard, man. This dude is anywhere the ball is. Anywhere the ball is. I love it, Johnny. Johnny's raising his play. It's safe to say that rust is falling off from this kid coming back from retirement. The Raiders look good, y'all. Look pretty good. The Patriots are smart right here. They line Grunk up as a wide receiver. Kind of got some Jimmy Graham-like stuff going on right there. I like it. I tilt my hat to him. Nice. But look at this. Cameron Wake, the newly acquired defensive end for the Raiders, spikes through the block, get to Garoppolo, bring him down behind the line of scrimmage. Then it's third and five later in that drive. They're going to go run. We ain't having that. Didn't I just say we the best defense against the run in the whole NF of L? Take another three. They can't get nothing but three on us, y'all. Eshaq Sharp, beautiful run right here, finding his lane. It wasn't a lot of that. The Patriots was really just eating the run alive, but right here it works good. Beautiful. Look at this. We go back to the run. We're trying to eat clock here at the end of the game, but as typical with the Raiders, what do we do? Put some laundry on the field. I got guys out here holding. I can't even get mad at the guys because they want to block, and they trying their best, so I'm cool with it. On third and seven, a beautiful strike to Lee Smith, but Lee couldn't hold on to the pass. Come on, Lee. What you doing? And, of course, Mayo will be around the ball. That, this guy's a monster. 
So you know what we do? We punt it. No big deal. None whatsoever. Fourth quarter action. It's a minute and 40 something seconds left. You guys are thinking, Spade, the game's over. You can end the video. Nah, man. I got some more good stuff to show y'all. Victor Small right there. Great tackle on Grunt. That's a big fella. Anytime your cornerback can bring him down, you're happy. And on first and 10, again, the pressure is getting to Garoppolo. This dude is having a horrible day, y'all. Second and forever. He goes screen. Look at Johnny hit hard. Play the screen perfectly. Perfectly getting off the block, wrapping up the running back. Johnny, you are truly a beast, my friend. And on third and 15, Garoppolo is going to try Johnny hit hard. No. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how Johnny didn't get that pick, but TJ did. TJ owed us one, too, for that pass interference. Beautiful. Now, we jump ahead. The Raiders offense stall right there. We punt the ball off. Hey, we got the game. No need to push. You know, it's less than a minute to go. They're going to just come out here and take a knee, I'm assuming, but no. They still want to fight, and if you want to fight, then we're going to fight. Garoppolo, play action, throws a pass, and that's Victor Small again. Let's go. And Grunk saved the touchdown, y'all. If Grunk is not over there, Victor Small scores on that pick six right there. So all of my rookies and my young guns that I drafted, man, they making me look like the genius I know I am. So shout out to Ishak Sharp, DeAndre Parker, and Victor Small. Those three guys right there made this game. It made this game, really. But anyway, folks, that's all I got for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor, bang that thumbs up button. It don't take any time. And if you're new to my channel and you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Become a member of the Wolfpack today. But I'm out the next time, folks. Peace.